Day. Starting Friday, the 2023 Pride Fest is making its return to Headwaters Park, and there are some minor changes to be aware of. Joining me this morning to share more is Fort Wayne Pride's director, Nikki Foltz. Good morning, Nikki. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. So let's talk about that minor change. What should people be aware of? Um, this year we've moved our Pride March to 2 p.m. instead of before the festival like we used to do. We did that because of logistics, um, trying to get people in safely and um, having some time prior to uh, the march for people to wristband in. So the good news is it's still happening. It is, so yes. <laughs> it's just that day that you need to be aware of. So other than the Pride March being changed, is there anything else new going on or can people still expect the favorites? It's going to be, yeah, the favorites that people are, have come to expect from Fort Wayne Pride and um, we're excited to welcome everybody back. So now I have to ask, what are those favorites? <laughs> <laughs> Great question. Um, people love the entertainment. Obviously, that's, you know, most festivals, that's what people are coming down to see. So our entertainment, including our drag show Saturday night. Um, but we also have um, food and vendors, and um, we have a kid's space that's open um, on Saturday. And, um, you know, the regular festival favorites of the beer tent and things and people enjoy the festival favorites indeed yes, yes. Uh, what about those those performers uh, is there any headliners that you wanted to talk about um, we bring in a lot of people um, locally as well as some regional acts um, there's a couple of local bands I think people will be excited about ladies night uh, made their debut last year and um, I, they're coming back this year I think people will love that there's also other local bands paradise 2.0 and midnight mimosas um, as well as some regional acts that we think people will enjoy. Sure, and of course, unfortunately, there is some uh, guidance. Now, I don't want to say rules, because they're not rules, but some guidance to event goers. Uh, is there any of those that you want to share? Um, yeah, well, it is an all ages festival, but after 8 p.m., five and under have to leave just because of the large crowds. Um, and then we just ask, you know, the normal things with festivals with um, following park rules of not bringing alcohol and pets and things like that. Into. Yeah, unfortunately, the pets do have to stay <laughs> at home. Uh, this festival, there is a cost to it. Yep, it's $5 a day, um, 12 and under are free. And is that covering the cost of the festival, or does that help go towards Fort Wayne Pride's mission? Um, it covers the festival. The festival is over $100,000 to produce, so, um, yeah, we have to use admissions to help pay for that. Absolutely. And as far as resources available at the festival, what can people expect? Um, we have over 80 nonprofits on our west side that are um, there for the different resources that people could have, as well as... Um, like a hundred um, retail booths. So there's something for everyone for sure to, to find. Nikki, thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate it. Fort Wayne Pride Fest is on Friday, July 21st and Saturday, July 22nd at Headwaters Park. Admission is $5 a day. Those 12 and under are free. However, keep this in mind again, 8 p.m. Children five and under need to leave, unfortunately. The Pride March is on Saturday starting at 2 p.m. near Headwaters Fountain. We'll have a link to all this information inside the story later today on Wayne.com.